Hey guys, what is going on? It's GMXB1. Uh, I've got a few articles today um, regarding Microsoft and the Xbox brand. And uh, I've got a bit of news on Titanfall. I'm going to start with Microsoft first. Um, Microsoft dates Xbox E3 2014 conference as game on known and unannounced Xbox One games to feature. So during the briefing, you'll be treated to everything from in-depth looks at previously, in the previously announced games to trailers for our unannounced games coming in 2014 and beyond. Uh, there will also be a number of fan-centric events, both before and after Xbox Game On for those fans that are in LA and for those who are watching around the world. You should all stay tuned for more details on those activities as we get closer to E3. Now, you can guarantee um, expected to appear on that day are going to be Halo and Sunset overdrive as you know there's been a ton of sunset overdrive news recently so uh, i reckon we'll see some actual gameplay footage before e3 i think i think they are going to release just a bit of gameplay footage all we've seen now is art and um screenshots from the game I like holding back the the gameplay footage so we need to see that um microsoft is reviving a well-loved strategy game franchise so could it be Age, Age of Empires, Halo Wars, Halo Wars 2 or Viva Piñata? Um, Microsoft Studios is looking for a highly experienced uh, senior games developer to help build and lead the term for, the, uh, for a new AAA title within an established and well-loved strategy game franchise, it reads. The successful candidate's primary responsibilities will be recruit and lead the client-side engineering team drive technical strategy for client development, manage, manage the day-to-day -day engineering rhythm and evaluate and recommend appropriate middleware and tools to accomplish our goals. Uh, Microsoft has three strategy franchises that could fit the label, established and well-loved. Uh, the most obvious is Age of Empires, that was created by Now Dead um, Ensemble Studios. There hasn't been a peep of that since uh, 2011's free-to-play installment Age of Empires Online which is due to be closed down this July 2014. Ensemble is also the studio behind Halo Wars. Um, yeah, N Studio is also behind Halo Wars. One of the few well-regarded and successful console native real-time strategy titles. Um, I'm not sure to call it an established franchise though, sales weren't spectacular. Phil Spencer praised the game's control scheme while expressing um, guarded enthusiasm for console strategy experiences in January. Last but not least, there's Viva Piñata, Rare's intensely sugar animal husbandry sim. The developer has ideas for a new game that might take what might make use of the Kinect and Microsoft's head PR honcho Major Nelson um, broached the subject on Reddit. I also can't help noticing that Rare retweeted our retrospective from last month. On the other hand, the job listing above is based in Redmond rather than at Rare's HQ in Leicestershire, UK. So, um, reviving a well-loved strategy game franchise, guys. All good. All, all good news, that. Um, some indie game lovers. Uh, Xbox One's first sub-$10 game launching this week. Not Jitsu coming to Xbox One Thursday, May the 8th for $6.49. I'm not sure what it'll be in the UK. So the Xbox One's first sub-$10 game, puzzle game, Not Jitsu, will be available this Thursday. Independent developer Ninja V told GameSpot this afternoon. The game launches May the 8th for $6.49. It is also the second game ever to come from Microsoft's new indie publishing program, Idea Xbox, to be released following last month's Strike Suit Zero. Not, not Jitsu was originally released last year on PC as a free but ad supported game for Windows 8, so why is the Xbox One version not free? The Windows 8 version allows users to purchase the A coins currency um, used to buy upgrades and consumables. We were experimenting with a free to play model, we didn't like what it did to game balance and the user experience so much. We decided so we decided to can the um, the F2P approach and allow users to get all the content with a base game purchase. A company re representative told GameSpot today it just ended up making more sense to monetize the old-fashioned way than trying our hand at um, F2P on the console. Um, 
In the top-down arcade-style game, you play as a squirrel who is out to retrieve stolen and sacred acorns from enemy boxes. So that's the the second um, ID game that's dropping for the Xbox One. Uh, as you know, we had some news yesterday on Titanfall. Titanfall experiences are on the way. Some new Titanfall experiences. Uh, is it a sequel, DLC, a life-size Titan? EA and Respawn won't say. So it says EA and Respawn are working on new Titanfall experiences as revealed by EA Chief Executive Andrew Wilson during an, an investor call last night. What exactly this amounts to is anybody's guess, but if you recall, sources do opine that EA has won the rights to publish Titanfall 2, <coughs> PS4. If it ever comes to pass and given early sales, I'd say that's a strong probability the sequel is likely to appear on both Xbox and non-Xbox platforms. Microsoft's exclusive to, ex exclusivity deal with EA applies for the life of the title. Looks like the cat is out of the bag. Respawns co-founder Vin Sampella tweeted after the call. New Titanfall experiences await you in the future. Excited at the opportunity. This is going to be fun. Other Respawn staff have been cagey about what the future may hold. We've got obviously DLC and support after launch. And those things occupy our time right now. Respawn's community manager, Happy Hep, told OXM at the, ra at the review event in March. We'll see where the future leads us. I don't even want to jinx it, man. Lead artist Joel Emsley put in when when pressed as to the likelihood of a sequel. I still seriously cross, cross my fingers for when we release. I just want to see what happens. I'm anxious to get it out there. For me, it's like if people like it and really want to play it, then that's what I want to see. So you, obviously you can expect the first DLC this month, the um, Expedition. It contains three maps, Swampland, Runoff and War Games. So we're dropping the US for $9.99 or $7.99 in it in the UK but if you've got the season pass um, obviously you'll get it free um, so what what would you have to Titan for right now guys what would you have to Titan for would you um, go for more weapons another Titan you know I'm not, I know the, the different maps are coming with different game modes but let us know what you'd add to Titan for um, I'd say I think another Titan's due and I like more weapons something like a sword something like that you, you know just to mix it up a bit in the actual game so yeah so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video peace out keep it gaming Death!